हेलो गाइस आई होप यू आर डूइंग रियली रियली वेल टुडे आई हैव विद मी सैमसंग गैलेक्सी टैब ए नाइन प्लस एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू सेवनटीन बेस्ट फीचर्स फॉर दिस टैबलेट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट फीचर इज अबाउट मल्टीटास्किंग फॉर एग्जांपल आई ओपन दिस नोट टेकिंग ऐप एंड हेयर आई विल स्टार्ट टेकिंग माई नोट्स नाउ ऑन दिस साइड आई कैन ओपन अनदर ऐप आई विल टेक आउट दिस एच पैनल एंड देन फ्रॉम हेयर फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई सिलेक्ट दिस इंटरनेट ब्राउजर आई विल ड्रैग एंड ड्रॉप इट here now i can work on both of these apps together the next thing is you can also bring any image from google to your notes for example i like this image now i want this image in my notes so i will just press and hold it like this and then i can easily drag and drop it here in my notes and later i can edit it the next thing is you can also bring any text from a website to your notes so here i open this website for example i want this text in my notes so first of all i will start selecting the text so i will start selecting the text from here and then i will select it till here now again i will press and hold it like this and i will drag it into my notes and then later i can edit it the next thing is you can also open another app in split screen for example i will take out this taskbar and now i like this app i can easily drag and drop here in the split screen now i can work on these three apps together i can also resize these apps and and i can also rotate these apps by just selecting these three dots and i can easily rotate them the next thing is you can bring more apps in pop up view for example i want to bring another app i will take out this edge panel now from here for example i want to bring this app i will just drag and i will drop here in the center so here you can see it is giving me the option of drop here for pop up view so i can open another app same way i can open more apps in the pop up view i can also resize these apps and then i can also change their position as well the next feature is about samsung ecosystem for example i will take out this edge panel and then i will scroll to the clipboard so you can see currently it is empty now for example i open a website on this device and i will copy this image so i will press and hold it like this and then i will copy this image so now the image that i copy here it will be available here in my samsung galaxy tab a9 plus as well so now this time if i take out this edge panel in my clipboard you can see the same image is available i can also use this image for example i open my notes and then i will take out this edge panel now i will press and hold this image and i can easily drag and drop here so you can see the same image is now available in this device the next feature is about screen recording for example you have a video lecture going on and you want to take notes in the meantime so you can drag and drop the samsung notes in the pop up view and then you can start taking your notes the next thing is you can see this note taking app is blocking the view behind so you can select this blue bar and then you select this opacity icon and then you can reduce the opacity now you can see the video behind and you can also take your notes the next thing is you can also do the screen recording so just bring down this quick panel and here you see this option of screen recorder so you can select this screen recorder option and then you can start start recording and then after this countdown your screen recording will start the next thing is in the screen recorder you have this pen tool so for example if you want to highlight something important in your video you can use this pen tool the next thing is once you finish with your screen recording you can select this stop option and your screen recording will save in your gallery and later you can access it and you can share it One more thing I want to mention here is below this video you see this like button if you press it it will change its color you can try this experiment the next feature is about book reading so you can use this tablet for book reading and if you want to study for a longer period of time you can use the eye comfort shield option so bring down this quick panel and here you see this option of eye comfort shield so you press and hold it like this and then it will open the eye comfort shield settings you can turn it on from here and then from here you can also change the color temperature for example i will 
set this color temperature to maximum now it will be very easy for me to read for a longer period of time the next feature is about pen support so guys this tablet does not support samsung s pen so i bought this stylus from amazon so sometimes this stylus works perfectly fine but sometimes i find it difficult to use with this tablet the next thing is if you want to use the s pen you have to go for samsung s series tablet for example you can go for s6 light s7 series s8 series or s9 series the next feature is about samsung dex so guys this tablet has samsung dex option so you can see i attach it with this bluetooth keyboard and with the cover so now you can have full desktop experience using samsung dex so you have your taskbar available here and your other apps available on this side now you can open multiple apps and then you can also resize these apps as well so for example here is the resize option I can also resize these apps from here and then I can open multiple apps together so here you can see you can open more apps just select these dots from here it will open the app menu and then you can access all of your apps from here we also have this trackpad available on this keyboard so we can also use this trackpad and you can see the cursor over here so you can use this cursor to open apps same like you use in your pc the next feature is about modes for example if i bring down this quick panel and then from here i select modes and then i will select study mode now everything will become grayscale restrictions apply on some apps and i can only use the apps that are related to my studies so this will be really helpful for me to focus on my studies now for example if i turn off this study mode it will go back to the normal tablet mode so you can add modes and you can customize them so first of all you have to go to the settings once you go to the settings here you see this option of modes so you can select this modes and routines option and then here you can select different modes and you can customize them the next feature is about pdf annotations so you can use the zodo app for pdf annotations and here you can use different tools for example if you want to use the highlighter tool you can highlight any text in your pdf you can also use this underline tool if you want to underline some important text you can also use this pen tool if you want to write on your pdf you can also add multiple pages to your pdf you can also delete pages you can also add different signatures i made a separate video about this app you can watch that video the next feature is about text to notes for example you are scrolling through a website and you find some interesting information and you want to save it for example i want to save this text first of all i will start selecting this text so i will select it till here now here you see this option of add to note so i will select this option so the same text will be added to my notes and it will also show you the link so here is the link for this website so if you want to delete this link you can press and hold it like this and then you can delete it from here so the text that you save you can also edit this text as well the next feature is about smart select tool so if you want to take the screenshot of some specific part of the screen you can use the smart select tool for example i want to take the screenshot of this part so i will take out this edge panel and then i will scroll to the smart select tool now for example i will select this rectangle option from here now you can select any part of the screen for example i want to select this part you can also resize it so for example i will resize it from here from top from sides as well and then i can also move it so i will select this part and then i select this done option so here you can see the screenshot has been taken now if you want you can also edit it so you can select this pen option and then if you want to write something you can write and then once you finish with your editing you can just save it using this option and then later you can access it through your gallery now i will do the gaming test on this tablet so the tablet that i am using has 64 gb of storage and 4 gb of ram you can also extend 
द मेमोरी ऑफ दिस टैबलेट अप टू वन टेराबाइट सो दिस टैबलेट हैज कॉलकॉम स्नैपड्रैगन सिक्स नाइनटी फाइव चिप सेट सो हेयर यू कैन सी द परफॉर्मेंस फॉर गेमिंग ऑन दिस टैबलेट The next feature is about widgets. So you can add multiple widgets to your tablet, and you can also access them directly through your home screen. So if you want to add more widgets, just press and hold it like this, and then select this widgets option, and then here you have multiple widgets option. So you can select any of these widgets, and they will be really helpful for you in your productivity. Now let's talk about some other features. So the screen size for this tablet is 11 inches, and it also has the motion smoothness option. So you have adaptive and standard. So for the adaptive, you have 90 hertz of refresh rate, and for the standard, you have the option of 60 hertz refresh rate. So guys, this tablet has a TFT LCD display, and it has four speakers. So two speakers on this side, and two speakers on the other side. It also has this 3.5 mm audio jack, and it also has the option of Dolby Atmos. You can also use the Dolby Atmos for gaming. So, guys, this device is made up of aluminium frame, and the battery for this tablet is 7,040 milliampere. Now let's talk about the cameras. So the rear camera is 8 megapixel with auto focus and if I go to the more options here you see we have this option of food, panorama, pro, night and hyperlapse. The front camera is 5 megapixel so you can use it for selfies or for zoom meetings. You can also use Notion app to organize your workflow and you can also use the AI option to write anything. For example, here I will give this command of heart anatomy and then AI will write it for me. You can also use it for brainstorming ideas to generate a different type of content. So this will be really useful. Now let's talk about some of the missing features in this tablet. The first thing is this tablet does not have palm rejection technology. For example, if I try to rest my hand on the tablet and then if I try to write, I am unable to write. So I can only write once my hands are in the air. The next thing is about Samsung Notes. So Samsung Notes also miss some features. For example, it does not have shape tool. It does not have handwriting to text tool it does not have action icons as well so if you want to utilize all note taking features you have to go for samsung s series tablets for example you can go for s6 light s7 series s8 series or s9 series so this tablet does not have air command tool as well so guys this is for today's video please subscribe to my channel thank you very much